In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can load an image into a panel and draw it on the panel in the paint routine. So on my desktop, I have this project folder. So just a standard highs project. In the images folder, I have an image of a piglet. And this is the image that we're going to draw on our panel. So the image is called piggy.jpg. So in Hives, the first thing we're going to do is add a panel to our interface. So we'll right click, add new panel. And we'll just resize this a bit. It doesn't need to match the image exactly, but we could if we wanted to. Uh, in fact, let, let's do that. Let's see what the image is. So the image is uh, 426 by 640. So we'll actually do half of that. So it fits on this panel, uh, fit, fits on this interface. So 426, that'd be 213 by 320. 213 by 320. Okay, and we're going to get a reference of this panel. So in the component list, I'm just going to right click the panel and select create script variable definition. And now over here in the script editor, I'll just paste that in. And if I hit F5, we now have a reference here to our panel. Now we're going to load the image into our panel. So we're going to write panel one dot load image. And the first parameter it takes is the path to the image. Our image is in the project folders images folder. And that's where you pretty much want to put all of your images. There's not really a reason to have them outside of there. So it's in the project folder. So we're going to put a string here and we're going to use the project folder wildcard. So that's a curly brace project underscore folder followed by another curly brace, closing curly brace. And that tells Highs that we're looking in our project images folder. And then we just put the name of our image. So that's piggy.jpg. Now, if your image is in a subfolder, you can also include subfolders here. So you'd put that before the image name. So we could put subfolder forward slash piggy.jpg. And you don't need a forward slash after project folder. You can just put the file name directly after it. Highs will work out that it's inside that folder. And then this next parameter, the pretty name, this is just the ID that we're going to use to refer to our image when we're in the paint routine. So you can pretty much put whatever you want here, but it's usually a good idea to put something sensible. So we'll put piglet. Okay, now we'll draw our panel's paint routine. So panel one dot set paint routine. And then we pass in a function, which gets the G parameter for the graphics. This is all standard stuff that I've covered in a few other videos. If I hit F5, our panel will now vanish because we have assigned a paint routine to it. So Heise is expecting us to decide what it looks like. So it just gives us a blank canvas. So the first thing I'm going to do is declare a variable called A. And in here, I'm going to get the panel's area. So the X, Y width and height. And to do that, I'm going to use the function this.getLocalBounds. And we'll put a zero in there. I've covered this particular function in a dedicated video. I'll leave a link to that in the description, or you can click the I icon at the top right of this video to uh, see that. Okay, and then on the next line, we're going to write G dot draw image. And the image name is the one we assigned here, the pretty name. So that's piglet. The area is the X, Y width and height that we want the image to take up. So we're just going to use the full area of our panel. So we'll put A there. And the offset is if we want to shift the image um, on the X or Y axis, we don't want to do that. So we're just going to put zero for both of these. And now if I hit F5, there's our happy little piggy. Now if we resize this panel, if I make it a bit larger and hit compile, the piggy will resize as well. So it scales up. Now, if I make it really sort of short, we can play around with this offset now. So if I change the Y offset to say 100, you'll see the image shifts. So we can kind of reframe the image using this. Set that back to zero and resize the panel again. So that's how to draw an image in a panel. I hope you found this useful. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please click subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.